If you're currently only having one or two meals or protein feedings per day, you're probably missing out on some muscle growth and here's how to fix that. We're back, local whey protein dealer and soon to be doctor, Milo Wolf here with Wolf Coaching. And today we're talking about protein intake and specifically how many feedings of protein should you have across the day in order to maximize getting yacked, you feel me? Let me take you back in history a little bit, bit of a history lesson for y'all. Back in the day, there was this prevailing trend within the bodybuilding culture that you needed to have six to eight meals per day, six to eight protein feedings per day, like every two hours seemingly, in order to maximize the muscle protein synthesis response, aka the muscle growth response. Since then, there's kind of been a pendulum swing and a counterculture. The people really into intermittent fasting have gone the other way and said, actually, really all that matters is how much protein you get in total per day. And so you could have all your protein in one meal and that's still optimal because you're hitting your total daily protein goal. Well, as it turns out, there is some truth to both takes. By and large, total daily protein intake is more important than frequency of protein intake and the exact distribution across a day. However, your body can only direct so much protein within each meal towards muscle building purposes. So if you have all your protein in one meal, you may not see the same muscle building benefits as if you spread it out a bit more across the day. How many feedings of protein should you be aiming for across the day? This is where a somewhat older review paper by Schoenfeld and Aragon from 2018 comes in. I know compared to most of the studies I review, this is actually quite old. This is five years old. While there's some disagreement between studies, especially acute studies and mechanistic studies looking more so at muscle protein synthesis and longitudinal studies or long-term studies looking at lean body mass or fat-free mass, here are some of the findings from this review paper. Throughout this video, when I give recommendations as far as how many grams of protein to have, keep in mind that those numbers are for relatively high quality protein. By and large, high quality protein just refers to having a decent balance of amino acids overall of the eight essential amino acids, having a sufficient amount of leucine, one of the key amino acids, if not the key amino acid, and finally being relatively digestible. First off, you likely maximize your muscle protein synthesis response. In other words, your muscles response in terms of muscle growth to the protein you just consumed at about 40 grams per feeding. Some studies suggest that you can get about 80% of that maximal muscle protein synthesis from about 20 grams of protein, but to get all of it or optimize it, you might need around 40 grams. Interestingly, the finding that 40 grams of protein led to greater MPS than 20 grams was found in the context of consuming protein after a full body workout. This has led to the hypothesis that the better your conditions for muscle growth, for example, if you're running a really effective training program, or maybe if you're newer to lifting, you can benefit from higher protein intakes. So how much protein is optimal for you may somewhat depend on what kind of session you just had, how much overall muscle you trained, how effective that session was, and more. As far as how much protein to have per meal exactly, a recent review paper by Morton and colleagues suggested about 0.4 grams per kilogram per meal is a really good starting place. Essentially what they did here is they took the average needed to maximize the muscle protein synthesis and they added two standard deviations to that number. And so for about 95% of people and cases, this should be an optimal protein intake per meal. Importantly, as you might have guessed from me giving recommendations in grams per kilogram, the optimal of protein both per day and per meal is likely body weight dependent. So for heavier people, you'll need more protein per meal and overall per day. For lighter people, you'll need less. Another finding was that some studies in non-training people, people not lifting weights, having just one meal a day have 80% of your total protein. For me, for example, that would be about 130 or something of my overall protein intake for the day come from one meal didn't actually negatively impact muscle mass compared to having your protein more spread out. However, this was on people who didn't lift consistently. How well this generalizes to us freaks, the people hoisting is a bit unclear. And so you don't want to take that and run with it necessarily. The next finding in a meta regression by Morton and colleagues was that about 1.6 grams per kilogram per day, so for someone weighing 100 kilograms, that would be 160 grams of protein per day, seems to optimize gains in fat-free mass in a resistance training population. The people hoisting the weights, 
us. That being said, while the meta-regression revealed that on average 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight was sufficient to optimize hypertrophy, the 95% confidence interval did range from about 1.03 to about 2.2 grams per kilogram per day. And so if you really want to cover your bases, you could go higher than this. So with all that in mind, let me give you some recommendations based on the most up-to-date studies on protein. Having three to five meals per day, each containing a decent amount of protein is a good place to start. If you wanted to, you could have four meals a day each having about 0.4 grams per kilogram of protein per meal. This would get you two things. One, it would get you a sufficient and optimal daily protein intake. And two, it would get you enough protein per feeding in order to get some of those potentially smaller benefits that we see in some of the acute and mechanistic data on muscle protein synthesis. That's the video, a lot of protein science. If you like the video, please comment, like, subscribe. Alternatively, if you want to see anything else, leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see. I will see you guys, my favorite people on the whole planet, besides my cat, but she's not really a person, in that next one. Peace. I fucking love protein, protein is the best. Protein, 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 protein. Woo! Insert the Kai Muscle uh, video of him at the beach having some protein with the bros. Protein. 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 You feel me?